let me switch over to uh, my screen here to show you a bit of a, a presentation first before we start with the software okay by the way if you're watching this on live or um, from Facebook please um, join us and leave comments as I progress you can ask me questions okay All right so let's jump into Right, so 3D made easy with Adobe Dimension and uh, Dimension CC makes it easy for graphic designers to create high quality photorealistic 3D images. Uh, it composites 2D and 3D assets to build product shots, scene visualization and abstract art. So I'm going to show you some example of what can be achieved with uh, Adobe Dimension to give you an idea of what you can do with the software. And also later on, I mean, uh, the main thing today is we are going to jump into 3D, um, Adobe Dimension and uh, do something ourselves and create a project. For those who have subscribed to the uh, the uh, sessions of ours, uh, you can or you probably already received a link, and uh, you can use that link to obviously switch on or you know um, start Adobe Dimension and uh, bring in those files so you can play along. Play, play along, yeah. Okay, so um, this is what Adobe Dimension can do. Let me just uh, jump back into uh, show you some stuff that we can be do with Adobe Dimension. Yeah. Okay. Right, photorealistic 3D images, yeah. All right, so you have uh, probably come across this before and you can see that uh, uh, you can go to the Adobe page, Adobe page, Adobe Dimension page. You can see that you have all these nice, beautiful renderings that can be done in Adobe Dimension, okay? Uh, either for product, um, what do you call that, mockups that you can show to your clients or something like an abstract art with all the tools that we have in Adobe Dimension. Uh, I'm going to also take you to a page, uh, the Behance page for Adobe Dimension. So you can have a look at what uh, people have been creating using Adobe Dimension. You can see all this is created using Adobe Dimension. Um, and it's done very swiftly, right? It's done very quickly. That's the reason why I want to show you how this can be achieved quickly today, right? So all these beautiful images here are, are created with Adobe Dimension. Okay, so if you are a 2D artist or 3D artist and you want to do something quickly, something very swiftly, and then you want to show to your client how it looks like, um, Adobe Dimension could be a software that you should look into and uh, you know uh, play around with it. Okay, all beautiful art here. You can see something like that okay. uh, for advertising. So it is not a 3D animation uh, software. I mean, it does not allow you. To, it doesn't have a timeline. It does not allow you to do key keyframes, but uh, it, it does the static uh, image, static images uh, like you know um, your illustrations and all that. But it gives you the three D, three D, three D with the three dimension um, art. Yeah, so you can download, or you can use three D models. You can download from the internet. I'm going to share with you some of them later. Uh, the website you can download three D, three D art or three D models, and then uh, you can bring it into Adobe Dimension and uh, start playing with it. Okay, so this all this was created with to be dimension beautiful art yeah so this is the uh, Behance web page the web, uh, Behance web page and then if you go to click on the dimension you can see all this art okay so we're going to do something uh, simple today we're not going to go into uh, very you know uh, in-depth tutorial training you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to do and then you can dwell upon it okay so let's do that so I'm going to jump into Adobe Dimension. So for those who have registered, you have probably gotten this uh, files that I'm going to share with you. So this is what we are going to work on. Uh, let me just show you how the end result is going to be. This is the uh, the end result of it. Yeah, this is what we are going to do today. You can see that we have two bottles with some labels on it and some camera depth of field as well. Yeah. So the depth of field actually is available in Adobe Dimension. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, let's jump into Adobe Dimension and we start. 
Okay, so this is Adobe Dimension, and this is the stuff that we created. Uh, we, we're going to create recreate this again. Okay, so if you want to move in, move around, uh, I mean, orbit around in the interface, you hold down your Alt key on your keyboard, Windows keyboard, or the Option key on uh, Mac. Just use your mouse to just move around, yeah? So I'm going to use my uh, Alt key here. So I'm going to use my right right uh, mouse on my on my mouse uh, the right mouse button yeah to move around to orbit. Okay, I'm using that, and then I'm going to use my middle mouse to pan around, and then you can use zoom in zoom out with your mouse wheel. Okay, and then with your left mouse button you choose your or you click on your objects. So we got one, two, three, and f only four objects in this scene. Okay, we can see that we have a 3D scene here. And I just created two bottles and colored them accordingly. And put these little swashes here to make a uh, little poster about this. Maybe trying to promote this chili sauce. Yeah, and you can change whatever you want to, it doesn't matter. So up here we have the camera controls. We can just go back to our main camera is how it's, I set it up. Okay, and then we can preview a render. You can see here we can use a slash a forward slash key to preview a render. The render will then show you the uh, focus distance and the lighting and all the ambient occlusion, right? All this stuff it will show you. So this is how it works. Okay, the longer you let it to render, the longer I mean the, the better the quality of the uh, quality of the render is. All right, so uh, let's jump into it. Let's let's start from scratch. I'm going to start this from scratch. This is the one that we are going to achieve today. And our dimension for our um, poster, or so I should I say, poster advertisement is 1024 by 768. Okay, so I'm going to make a new uh, project for this one. So I go up to File, create a new project, Control N. Okay, we don't, we're not going to save this one. I'm going to say don't save, and we'll get a blank slate like this. Yeah, you can zoom in, zoom out with your scroll wheel. You can use your right mouse button to orbit. You have your middle mouse to pan, and then you have your left mouse button for you to, to do some selection. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, notice that we have a 1024 by 70. That's the default dimensions if you uh, first start up Adobe Dimension, right? By the way, my version here is I'm using the version 3.4.1. Yeah, that's the latest version from Adobe for Adobe Dimension here. Yeah, 3.4.3.4.1. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's make sure that we are 100%, we're viewing at 100%, okay? You can zoom in and zoom out with your control plus and control minus. Okay, I'm using my control, control plus and plus minus on my keyboard. And let's bring in our first asset. So in your on the left-hand side, you will see a panel. The panel has a lot of categories here. We've got basic shapes, yeah? We've got basic shapes, we've got the models. If you scroll down using your mouse, there's a lot of models here which are given to you for free. Okay, by default, and then we have materials by uh, Adobe, Adobe Standard Materials, and we have also Substance Materials. Okay, Substance, another software, another company that uh, was purchased by Adobe recently, where they have Substance um, app that was bought, which creates textures and all that, right? So we have Substance Materials there, and also some directional lights, environment lights. We're going to play with all this stuff today. Right, and obviously some images for you to put onto your, um, onto your uh, products or onto your um, models, yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go a step ahead, and I'm gonna use Photoshop to create my labels, okay? and I'm show you how you can bring in a PSD file to put uh, labels on your uh, bottles, or in this case, it's gonna be a bottle, yeah. Okay. Nagib. Uh, Najib, Abdul Jabba, and Hakim, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Yeah, if you feel free to ask me questions if you want to. So I'm going to use this square bottle over here, which is already available in our uh, by default in Adobe Dimension. So I'm just click on it once, and it appears in your uh, in your canvas. Yeah, you just click on it once, and it, it's rendering straight away because I have got my render button enabled. So I'm going to disable my render button for now. I'm not going to do any rendering for now. We'll do that a little later. And then we want to focus on the thing, right? So if you go to view, you can see that the, we can zoom to fit canvas, it's control zero, 
right? All the all the keyboard shortcuts are here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a camera. I'm going to do and say frame selection, right? So I have to press F, but in case I will show you. So that's our bottle there, right? Nothing on it yet. It's just a generic bottle. And if I click on render, it's just a generic bottle, right? Just pure white bottle. There's nothing nothing to it. So I'm going to color it. I'm going to give it a nice uh, uh, red color because it's a chili sauce, right? So we talk about chili, we think about red. So I'm going to go, go over down, scroll down now to my materials. And I see that we have a nice uh, material here. Let's choose plastic. Oh, in this case, since already the, the bottle already has a material on it, if you look at our, on the right hand side under the properties, we have a square bottle. Yeah, the square bottle has uh, three things: a lid, right? There's a lid there. It has three uh, different sets of uh, uh, what do you call that parts of it, yeah, in the bottle, and then the safety ring, which is that small little thing inside there. Yeah, there's a safety ring over there, and you got the lid as well. So the lid and the bot and the safety, ring, I'm going to color them separately compared to the bottle. Yeah. So F again, since we already know how to use keyboard shortcut. I'm going to click on my square bottle and I'm going to click on the bottle itself. Yeah. So once you select that, if you double click on it, you can see now you go into the, its properties. So the bottle material is now it's white in color. So if I click on that particular um, little swatch, right, you can see the base color is this, right. So if I click on that base color, you can see now it allows me to bring in a color. So let's give it a nice uh, light red chili color, something like that. Yeah, maybe that's too much. That's too like that looks like blood. Maybe a bit of more orangey red. Yeah, something like that. So we just take note that we have a. I'm gonna do a hex color here so we can copy around. So we'll do a D four one five one five. Okay, that's fine. So that's our red bottle, right? And for the cap, I want to color it green, right? Something like a. See when you see a chili, it comes with leaves, green leaves, right? So that's the whole motif of it. So I'm gonna select our let's go away from the bottle, select the lid, okay, and then we can click on the material, give it a nice little green leafy color. A bit more darker than that. There you go, right? Nice green color there. Okay, click away and then you can see now you have that. Uh, green color for the top and we have red for the bottom for the bottle itself the safety ring can we see the safety ring let me move it around oh, yeah it's green as well so undo that okay that's fine so the both that were colored separate uh, together so press the F button again to frame it and uh, just to just to double check before I render this I just want to make this one a bit more shinier Right, so this, this um, the bottle, uh, the the cap, or the lid, they call it, yeah. So just make sure that everything is um, nice and uh, shiny. Let's try and do a render for this up here. Render button, click on it, and we'll see how it turns out. So to me, it looks like a bit more matted instead of uh, shiny. So how do we change the shininess of it, right? So I'm going to switch off my render for now. So if you select the bottle itself, the cap, uh, the lid in this case, yeah. If we can go down to its properties, so if I double click on it, yep, I go into its properties, you can see down we have this uh, sliders, a roughness, metallic and glow. So roughness is how rough it is and how smooth it is. So I'm going to make it a bit smoother. At the moment it's 59 roughness, so I'm going to make it down. So now you can see it becomes much more uh, shinier, right? So bring it down to about maybe 20 or something like that. Let's do a render for that. Yeah, so it has a bit more highlight now. So I like that, yeah, I like that. So I can zoom out, I can see that's a bit more shinier, yeah, compared to earlier just now. So that's how you do it. You change the roughness, metallic, and the glow. You can even make things glow if you want to, just adjust the glow, right? If you make one of something uh, like a bulb or something like that, yeah, you can do that, right? So we have done that. And I want to put a label on it now, okay? So for the label, obviously I can go down to the, to the bottom of the screen here on the left. We have some labels here which we can click and drag. So I'm going to uh, use this for, for time being as an example. So I'm going to take this brand logo and just click and drag and leave it on top of the bottle. Yeah? And then we will have this label on the bottle which I can move around with this uh, little 
uh, circle here, I can adjust the width of it, right? The height of it. Okay, I'll move it around the bottle so I can do that. It's just a PNG file which you can create in Photoshop and bring it along. So I, I, feel, I, I feel that this is not the right label for this particular bottle. It doesn't look nice. Okay, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to jump into Photoshop and I'll show you what I've prepared for uh, to put a label on this on this little bottle here, right? So let me jump into Photoshop. Uh, you can either use Photoshop or you can use Illustrator, both of them, yeah? yeah either way works. So you can bring, bring the actual PSD file uh, into Adobe Dimension directly. You don't have to convert it to a PNG file. So let's open up. So for those who have registered, you might have received an email from us uh, for you to use a file that I've prepared for you guys. So let's go to the desktop. And that's the file that I've prepared, yeah? Uh, that's the final. And this is the end sample. I use this one over here. There's another one. Current view. Let's use this one. Yep, this is the one, yeah. A label, which I just downloaded from the internet. Nothing much. I just cropped, make sure that everything looks nice. So this is a PSD file. It's just a PSD file with just an image in it. Yeah, nothing much. So you can either create from scratch or you can you know use the one from the internet just for the fun of it. And then what I'll do is I'll go to my Adobe Dimension. And I put, I, if I click on the bottle itself, you know that on the right hand side, you can see that I have, if I click on the bottle here, I can actually uh, import, sorry, this is moved to ground. I can import or uh, uh, place a graphic on the model, right? If I click on this button here, okay? Now it's asking me what file am I gonna, gonna bring in, right? So I'm gonna go to my desktop and I can bring that PSD file again. So my PSD file, which was the Dreams PSD. Or is it DNS sample? I think it's DNS sample. There you go, right? That's a label there. Okay, I can click around and move it around. And I'm gonna just wanna place it. I'm gonna make it uh, slightly bigger. Yeah, and let's wider a bit. So I can see the word chili sauce in front of us. So just make it fit into the bottle like that. Yeah, you look around. It's not really wrapped around. If you wanna make something wrapped around, obviously you gotta do the uh, four by one kind of look, yeah. So it's, let's say one side is hundred percent. So you got to make a four hundred percent version of it. So you got to wrap around it. For us, we're not going to view the back the the back side of the uh, bottle. So we're not going to bother about that, right? Unless you're gonna like you're gonna show uh, maybe the front and the back of the bottle. Then then you have to create the label which is uh, at the back of the label. For now, I think this is good enough, right? So I'm gonna just make it a bit shorter, a bit. Okay. There you go. So that's the label there. It's just drag and drop. Yeah, drag and drop PS uh, Photoshop file. Why use a, why use a Photoshop file? Because we can always go and edit. So if I were to want to edit this now to make it to a different color. So if I got my graphic there, right? It's got my graphic there. If I double click on it, I can see that now I can, I've placed it as a, de as a decal. Yeah, I can either fill it up. So you can fill up the whole bottle, which is not well, use, could, you, could be useful in some manner. You can fill it up like that. Or I can just make it into a, a decal. A decal means there's something like a sticker that you can put on top of it. So I'm going to do undo there. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave it like that. But I can always go and edit the image. So if I click on this, now you can see I've got this pencil icon. If I click on the pencil icon, it takes me to Photoshop. Yeah. It takes me to Photoshop. And for some reason, they say if I want to uh, adjust this to make it some other color, let's use uh, hue saturation for this. And let's try and make it different color maybe a bit more purplish right if i save that now and if i go back to the big dimension it should update unless uh, there's an error here what does it say open to forming please install app uh, that's fine okay but it should update if i press ctrl s maybe it's not compatible with the version of photoshop i installed but it should update yeah, I'm getting that error. Okay. But it links, it's a live link, so you can actually 
uh, it does not recognize the Photoshop file. It doesn't matter. Uh, or what we can do is we can try and close Photoshop and see whether it opens up automatically. Let's close that. Okay, let's do this. Uh, edit. This file does not. Uh, it opens Photoshop. It does open Photoshop. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Okay. There's an error here which we not not really so create this issue for. Okay, we have to do something else to set a default file for that. So I'm gonna do that. But uh, if you have installed it uh, correctly, you should be able to edit it straight away. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about the label here, which is the bottle and. Uh, Let's see. Graphic. Okay. Click on it. I can select a file. I can edit. I can add to CC library. Let's try edit again. So I'm still getting that error. Okay. So some, somehow or other when you have different versions of software that you install from Adobe, they don't really link up. So I might have to uninstall Photoshop and reinstall after installing Adobe Dimension or something like that. I've come I've come across that before. So that could be it. yeah. But you, trust me, you can actually change the labels uh, via Photoshop and it updates into the Adobe Dimension straight away. Okay. So all right. So we've got the bottle ready, right? We got the label nicely done. And then what we're gonna do now is we are going to change a bit of camera perspective, right? This camera looks as if it's using a very close lens. I'm going to select our camera up here in the panel on the right hand side. You can see you can change the field of view here, right? Make it a bit closer of, of, of right. Maybe I can make it a 55 mm lens, right? And then we can zoom in. So we have that distortion perspective of it. You know, it looks as if the camera was quite close to it or something like that, right? So one bottle done, right? So we got this name of here, square bottle. So I'm going to just uh, rename it. So double click on it. I'm going to call it square bottle one, right? Because we're going to make some duplications of it. But before that, always, always save your file. So file, save as. And let's put it on our desktop for now. I'm going to call this chili sauce. Uh, let's put zero one for now. Let's save that. All right. So now we're going to duplicate this, right? We're going to duplicate this and then we're going to move it around a bit kind of thing and all that. Right. So I'm going to duplicate. So I'm going to click on this uh, square bottle. So I already made one, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just uh, duplicate. You see the plus button down here? You can duplicate that. Okay. Now we got two, right? So if I move this around, you can see now I've got two bottles. So now we, get a, we can place them as we like. So I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to use this uh, little uh, gadgets here. Yeah. This little... Uh, arrows here to move up and down we got forward we got left and right then we got you can even rotate them right however you want it right okay i'm gonna rotate something like that i'm gonna place a camera or something like that yeah just it just just depends on what you want to do and this guy i'm gonna rotate this way and then bring it down a bit and move it up move it to the back yeah they obviously keyboard shortcuts for it if you want to let the keyboard shortcuts Maybe something like that. Or maybe this one goes to the back. Okay, you can also view from the top if you want to. If you go under the camera view, you can see that we can view, sorry, under camera view, you can select to view from the top, front, left, right, back. Yeah? So Alt, one, two, three, four, five, six. So from the top, you can see that we can place this, uh, the other bottle. And then uh, Alt 2 is from the side, Alt 3, Alt 4, right, Alt 5. And if you want to go back to normal view, you can just say go back to your switch to home view, which is Control B. Yeah. And what I can do here, I can actually create a scene with my camera. Uh, I want to do something like this. So I'm going to move this around. So for those who are watching, if you feel like uh, asking me a question, please go ahead. Yeah. And this guy. 
can go something like that right okay and then they are floating in the uh, I'm just gonna bring it up a bit more they're floating up in the air all right so let's see if I like this um, what do you call that this pose or this camera view I can actually save it right so up here we have the camera view with the star if I click on it I can say I want to create a first camera view so this could be my uh, main view right that's the main view I could do a different other other different views to show my clients how this bottle look like maybe one from the top or something like that you know I adjust the, the camera movement and maybe something like this zoom out a bit and then I can create another camera yeah I can create maybe uh, a second view or whatever you want to call it okay so I can switch back from them yeah well, this is a, the main view this is the second view so I can do whatever I want so let's say go back to the main view and now I want to bring in those uh, splashes you know that we have just to make it a bit more nicer looking instead of just plain bottles so I'm going to scroll down uh, inside the default uh, models we have this little called splash so I'm going to click on it and just there you go right so I can just bring this down I can just rotate it around all right that's the first one okay maybe something like that and we can size it down so if I if, I, if you hit any of the square ones so hold on the shift key you can actually size it down right scale it down I mean and then put something like that that's one splash I'm gonna bring it up a bit okay I want to color this splash the red color but I do not know right what color was this so what we can do is we can select the bottle we also have what we call a color picker in uh, the Dubi dimension so select the model that you want to change the color to and then use the color picker and click on the color that you want to change to so that shape becomes uh, that particular uh, rate that I want right and the V tool to select make a selection tool okay something like that and I'm gonna make one more of this I'm gonna duplicate this so control command D to duplicate so we got one more and this way I want to do it maybe maybe turn a bit of its rotation to something else let's do this let's rotate that a bit the other way around and move it around and this one I want to give it a that green color right that that has been on the on the cap of the bottle so be something like that okay but I do not know what the green color is right here so I'm, I'm going to click on the cap of the bottle which is the lid and click on the red green and the green there you can see that it has this swatch and I'm going to change it to this the color right 37831C I'm going to copy that control C okay that's the hex color so I'm going to click on this guy and click on its uh, color swatch and then paste it and then control V yeah so we get the green color in fact we already have one color green here which is the same green color there you go okay so now we have that splash so let's look at make sure that they are not colliding with each other let's assume that this is the uh, color of the chilies yeah that made this chili sauce so we'll find a nice pose for this and let's try and see whether we can do a bit of render here I think it's already rendering but the background is not so nice right we want to change the background as well so what we're going to do is we are going to color the background so if you see now we have the under the environment up here so we got bottles two bottles we got two splashes those are our actual 3d objects we got a camera we don't see the camera but the camera is there and then under environment you see we have the background so background is enabled at the moment yeah so I'm going to give it a nice um, yellowish color to the background something like that obviously when I go into Photoshop later I'm going to change it to something else uh, with a gradient or something yeah so for now I'm going to just give it that yellow color right you can see the theme is very very Mexican theme we got yellow we got red we got green yeah so if you go into a, a Mexican restaurant before this you probably see this kind of colors that's a that's a theme that I want to try to get to so let's save this control s all right and let's now okay we have done our modeling I mean we have put our models inside we have put our splashes and we have put a nice yellow uh, background the next thing we want to talk about is uh, lighting yeah lighting so if you go back to the environment up here on the right hand side you can see they've got environment light there's an environment light which is reflecting onto the bottles you can see some lights 
you know, the highlights of the bottle. That's actually coming from this image over here. This image here actually uh, it becomes a light that reflects onto the bottles to give you the shininess. So if I click on that environment light and I can have two controls here. One is a rotation. I can rotate the light, you can see, right? And I can also in increase the intensity of the light or, or reduce it, right? See, what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to use this environment light. I'm going to create my own lights, right? So if I select the environment light here and I click off, uh, switch on the eye, switch off the eyeball, you can see the whole model goes away. Okay, the background is not there's nothing to do with the foreground, right? So there's no lights now that we have no lights in the scene. Oh, okay, you got Roland Roland uh, Banes from Philippines. Welcome, man. Thank you for watching. Um, so I'm going to create some uh, my own lights. If you scroll down further on the left-hand side of the panel, you can see that you have environment lights, which is the one that we was, were using just now. Okay, I switched that off. But we also have, uh, if you scroll down a bit more, what we call is, three, I'm looking for a three-point light, yeah, studio light article. So you have choices of lights that you can use. Just drag and drop or just click on it. It will just enable it. I'm going to do is I'm going to there you go I want to create directional lights yeah not environment lights so I, I've got this one called three point light yeah, I'm going to click on it yeah, now we have a three point lighting three point lighting means if you're in a real environment if you're trying to take um, videos or photography there are three lights which is the key light the fill light and also the backlight so in this case now we have three lights if you notice now we have the key light here the fill light and then the backlight if I disable the backlight you can see something goes off right that's the backlight. And then the fill light here. That's the fill light that's coming from the left of the image. And then we have the key light which is coming from the right. Okay, so this is how you play with the lights. And then you can actually rotate, change the intensity and also the height of the lights here. So that makes it for a very realistic way for you to do uh, lights. Okay, and another way that you can do lights is actually by using another object, a round object or whatever object, and then make it into uh, illuminated object. So you can cast a light. So some of the drawings that you have seen over here, which is in uh, what I mentioned earlier, some of them are used those kind of lights. Yeah, they don't depend on the lights that's given by the three three point lighting system, but they use another object to light it up. So that look makes it looks even a bit more nicer. Okay, these are some of the lights. So you get, all this you can play with actually. But I'm I'm going to use my three point lighting. I find that the uh, key light is a bit too dark. So let's bring up the intensity of it. Okay rotation of it so I'm going to give that highlight I like I want to see this highlight over here on this bottle here All right and the fill light let's see uh, maybe give it a nice a bit of more yellowish kind of color for the fill light instead of giving pure white right that's my fill light and the backlight okay which is casting from the top I think it's actually from the top if I do a rotation you can see it's actually from the top Right, let's give it a nice, a bit more bluish kind of color. Right, so I'm going to go down to give it a nice blue color. Sometimes lights come from the um, on top, right? Mimics the sky, so which is a bit bluish kind of color, right? So you need to be able to notice all this lighting or colors that comes from around you. So I'm going to put that nice blue color. You can see a bit of bluish tint there, yeah, as if we are. Uh, getting the lights from the sky itself. Okay, so now we have the key light, fill light, backlight, right? We have switched off our environment light, and that looks nice. Okay, maybe you can change just a bit of the angles here a bit, zoom in a bit more. Okay, that looks nice, right? So we have our nice chili sauce set up there. Okay, all right, so let's say we are happy with this and it looks good. What we're going to do is we're going to render this out now, right? Here to support fellow Adobe Toys. Yeah, thank you, Roland. A great session you got there. Thank you very much. Yeah, we want to try and share with people, you know, uh, of the softwares that are available, but yeah, people are not taking advantage of it, especially when you have a creative suite and you have soft software like Adobe Dimensions is so awesome for uh, artists to use it f to create some 3D designs like this. Yeah, it's uh, actually a very easy software to use. Right, so we are, I think, I mean, let me see. Uh, let me see. I think I might want to just rotate this stuff a bit, a bit more. Select all my models here. Yeah. And I want to rotate them a bit. 
So go down to oh, where is this rotation tool here? Can I rotate all of them together? Yeah, nope. That's what you get camera actually. I'm rotating the object, uh, but I don't know. Maybe I am. Okay, doesn't matter. We can always do it. Uh, we can change it in Photoshop. So I like this one. And I'm going to render this now. Yeah? Let me save it first. Control S to save. And I'm going to go up to my render button here. Click. And you can see I can render a full resolution. But we go up to tab here. Under design, we have home, design, and render. Click on the render button. Okay, and the thing will pop up in a bit. Okay, so you have a choice of rendering. Uh, low quality or you can go to medium or you can go to uh, slow in this case because uh, time is a bit of an uh, essence for us I'm gonna do a low fast but I'm gonna make it into a Photoshop file because I'm gonna go into Photoshop and I do some changes as well right so I'm gonna keep it as a Photoshop file I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna click on render yeah and it's rendering the current view okay so let's wait for a couple of seconds so while we're waiting for the render to finish, I'm going to uh, jump back into my presentation here to show you about what um, uh, we have actually a promotion that's going on, right? Not to share this, sorry, to present this, okay. So actually this a promotion going on. Uh, we are doing a promotion uh, during Ramadan at the moment, yeah, uh, where if you uh, register for any of our courses, um, uh, we have Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, After Effects, Premiere Pro, InDesign. Any of these five courses if you register, and we have three packages for it: the bronze, silver, and gold. But if you if you uh, opt for the silver package, we are going to give you a free upgrade to the gold package, which means uh, from three days it goes to five days, but you save two thousand ringgit because the the price from silver to gold is the difference is two thousand ringgit, so you save that. So we're going to give you a free up, uh, upgrade to gold, right? So you pray for the price of silver, you get a gold package. Okay, that's the until the 19th of May. Sorry, 12th of May, right? And you can come in for a training until the um, 1st of July. So that's a, a bit of time that's for you to, um, you know, maybe get your permissions from your superiors and all that, okay? Yep, thank you, Azura. Uh, Azura has been a very good fan of uh, Effects Go. She never misses any of our live sessions. Thanks, Azura. Thanks for the support. Let there be light. Andrew, nice to see you, man. Thanks for joining. Andrew Ho is another good friend of ours. Uh, he always joins for our live sessions. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, uh, whilst we're talking, while we're rendering at the background, um, next week we're going to have another session. So I'm going to promote the next week's session. For those who are interested to join us next week, we are doing a Blender session. And you know, Blender has been uh, uh, talk about uh, software recently. A lot of people are actually using Blender now to create 3D simply because it's a free software. Uh, I, I wouldn't say free, it's an open source, la, open source software. And my colleague, Astral, will be starting his, uh, it's, a, it's, a three, it's, a, it's a trilogy, la, trilogy yeah? part one, part two, part three, on how you can use Blender. Uh, to start with, to start creating 3D scenes, 3D objects, okay? It takes you uh, one step further compared to what I'm teaching you today with Adobe Dimension. Dimension is quick, right? You bring in stuff in, pop, 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 everything's done, you can give it to your client. But Blender takes a bit of time where you create your own uh, models and all that. So Astro will be starting his first session next week at 10 a.m. to 12 a.m., uh, 12 p.m., sorry, yeah? So please join, do join. We're going to post it in our social media so you guys can join in and learn Blender because this is actually a very powerful uh, software uh, for 3D animation, uh, for 3D visualization animation, even VR as well, okay? Thank you, Najib. Right, so please do stay tuned next Thursday. We are, doing, we are bringing this weekly to you guys. So every week we're going to bring on a, a topic that we can discuss with all of you, yeah? Okay, so let's jump back to, okay, and the render is done, yeah? So we've got a Photoshop file now sitting on our, on our desktop. So let's open that up, okay? I'm going to go to File, let's open up Photoshop. Let's go and open up Photoshop. So I'm going to show you what happens when it renders into a PSD file. Uh, 
okay so file open and it's sitting on my on our desktop that's the Photoshop file yeah, chili sauce zero one current yeah so when you render in dimension and you save it as a PSD file when you bring it to Photoshop you see now you have some extra layers here right it gives you material selection masks it create masks for every object in your scene let me zoom that a bit okay it creates selection masks you have two versions and then it gives you a death information death information if you want to do if you want to change uh, the uh, depth of field you can do that if you as well yeah but actually i forgot to do depth of field inside here dimension okay uh, you can actually do a depth of field here actually sorry about that if i go back to my camera right you can see at the bottom here i have this thing called focus this is something new that they put into the b dimension okay a focus means i can focus on a certain item here so if i enable focus down here now i have a little uh, gad uh, gadget here a small little uh, what do you call that icon right so i can just click and focus on where i, where I want to focus on so i'm going to focus on this uh, bottle here so the background becomes blur okay the focus is now on this bottle and the background becomes blur and in fact i think it's become too much blur so i can reduce the blur amount right so that gives you like a camera with depth of field here nice looking blur camera thing and the forward foreground here becomes blur the background becomes blur and the focus is given on this stuff so it's a very good way for you to make sure that the person you want to look at your design looks at the at the right place okay we always use this in, in movies as well yeah maybe about 3.4 i don't want to become too blur the back there yeah nice isn't it? you got blur here and then blur in front right so we have that enabled now in focus very nice okay let's jump back to our photoshop file just let's say that we have done the focus thingy and now we have a rendered image this is your rendered image now it gives you a different background right so now the background here i don't want to use i want to make a gradient background for this one okay so i'm going to use i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to color it uh green uh, sorry uh, a bit of gradient at the back there so let's use our gradient tool here click on it and i'm going to maybe use some yellows here we have oranges and reds now i'm going to create my own so click here okay give it that nice yellow nice nice yellow okay and then the other one i want to give it slightly darker yellow than that in fact i can actually alt and drag and delete this one off <coughs> excuse me okay Capacity is 100%. Okay. So keep it that nice. It's slightly darker than usual. Okay. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to use my gradient tool now. Just to drag. Make sure we have. Alright. So I like that one, yeah? Maybe not. Maybe a bit, make it a bit more yellowish in the center. Okay. Let's try that you can see the subtle gradient yeah instead of just having a normal gradient we have a subtle gradient and maybe i want to crop a bit i don't want to see these edges here just crop it down a bit okay try and make it as zoomed in as possible okay press enter to crop there you go right so we have nice gradient at the back there uh, we can also come and adjust the color if you want to if you don't like this color maybe you want to make it a bit more contrasty obviously we can always put our levels yeah so i'm going to use the levels here and i'm going to only adjust uh, i'm going to make it into a clipping mask so we can only use the, it only affects the layer at the bottom of it and i can adjust that yeah make it a bit more darker kind of thing and all that right i'm sure you guys know how to use levels and all that very nice right so we can bring it into photoshop and we can adjust it a bit more so you can do whatever you want you can even change the background to whatever totally whatever maybe you could put an image at the back there or something yeah so this is how easy it is to do do stuff in Photoshop. So this image I think I can rotate a bit. So I'm gonna do a bit of uh, Control T, right? Maybe I want to rotate a bit. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, right. That's how you want. I want it to be. Yeah, and just slightly 
adjust the yeah okay so that's how it is yeah so for this layers over here these are actually all layers for allow you to actually select the items if i select this layer here okay it allows me to select so if i i, I want to change the layer the back there to some some other color so i use my if i use my selection tool right if i go to my uh, maybe use my quick selection tool or just use uh, our magic wand tool yeah select that part see i'm just selecting that bottle part and if i go back to my image if i disable that yeah oh because i changed it earlier let's let's undo a bit let's undo the movement so just to show you a sample okay let's enable that Okay, click on it, let's select it right, and then disable that. And now you see my bottle selected. So I can come and change the color of the bottle where, how I want it. So what I do is I'll uh, go to levels. Nope, I'm going to do a mask. Should I do a mask? I'm going to get rid of this. Let me show you an example, yeah? So I'm going to just do another levels here. So now the level is going to only affect that bottle there. Yeah, see that? Uh, instead of using levels, I can use something like view saturation. And I can change the clipping mass. Okay. And I can just change the color of that bottle over there. Yeah. Make it something different if you want to. That's the reason why we have all this available for you. So not only it renders the image, it also renders the uh, selection for you so you can actually individually change the bottle color okay. that's it same goes for the cap and all that so every individual parts of the um, parts of the uh, object you can it'll, it'll make a selection for you yeah all right so that's why we have this layers here so you can come and change to uh, to make it even nicer if you want to in Photoshop all right so that's it a very easy way of doing uh, stuff <coughs> excuse me inside of Adobe Dimension um, if, there's, uh, if you guys have any uh, questions because we're supposed to only have a one hour session which is already uh, three o'clock now anyone has any questions to ask me about Adobe are you guys using Adobe Dimension do you have it available is it something that you guys have been playing with uh, I also promise to show you where you can get models from, 3D models, right? It's not limited to whatever you have in Adobe Dimension so if you go somewhere like maybe Adobe has its own uh, Okay, you just type in um, 3D models for Adobe Dimension, yeah. Okay, so you got the stock.adobe.com and then we also have places like um, Turbo Squid or something like that, right? There's also Turbo Squid as well, right? So that's the models from, <coughs> excuse me, uh, from uh, Adobe, right? So they have this branding, packaging and art 3D models. If I click on branding, you can see you can get all this model. You can download all this and you make you know some something out of it. It's all totally free of charge, yeah. And obviously, you can download more from <coughs> places like um, Turbo Squid. Okay, Turbo Squid has some free um, models that you can download and play with. Okay, 3D models and all this stuff, yeah. So perhaps you're looking for something for free and then you can download. I'm sure there's a lot of other places you can download 3D models from uh, and uh, start using it inside Adobe Dimension, right? So if you click here, I think Andrew is sending me a message. Are you sending me an Adobe message, Andrew? Uh, Roland is using a lot of uh, Adobe Dimension, very good. They can use Adobe stock free 3D models. Yes, that's one, yeah. So you can go here and download some stock free 3D models. Uh, that's the space. If you want to create something, a space scene, you can download this model. It's totally free. And you also have something like a packaging and art. You can download all this and make something out of it, yeah? Arrange them nicely and then use the lighting of how I showed you just now. Can you show how to activate the focus on bottle again? Sure. All right. So let's go back to the uh, Ruby Dimension. So uh, Andrew is asking, how do I enable? If you come down here, okay, if you select your camera, Andrew, select your camera. At the bottom of the panel, you can see the one a word called focus. Just enable that. Okay, and then you get this little icon. It's asking you where you want to focus on. So you can move the focus anywhere you want. You can move, maybe you can focus this bottle at the back there. Okay, so the front bottle will become blur. Okay, or you can select again and then say, I want to focus on this bottle here. 
right? Actually, same goes for lighting as well. Lighting also, you can have focus, right? If I click on my key light, right? I can say I want to focus on this here. So you can see this focus button here under action. And I want to focus on this guy. So now my lighted lighting has changed, right? So I can click on that to focus on that surface. Not the, not the bottle, but the surface of it, yeah? So go back to my fill light, sorry, my key light. Click on the focus. I want to focus on here so that the light's coming from this way, right? So you can do that. Or you can come in and change your rotation of the light to have whatever you like, yeah? And that's it. Very easy, right? Height, up and down. You can change the intensity. It takes a while for you to practice how to do all this stuff. But once you get the formula of how to do your stuff to make it virtualist 3D, then you really want, uh, you know, you can just do things very quickly. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you will create some new, some awesome 3D stuff using Adobe Dimension. Let's see whether you have any questions. Uh, select scene camera panel go. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, thanks, Roland. In older version, that's not available in real time to display. Yeah, all right. So actually, I have my render this uh, rendering in real time up here, right? For you to be able to use Adobe Dimension, you need to have a, a good, not should I say a good graphics card, but you need to have a graphics card installed in your machine it's because it's using your GPU to uh, give you this preview of the render, right? Uh, so if you click on it, you can see you can go full or you can go half, just to depends on your machine, what the machine you have. In my case, I have a 1080 Ti a graphics card, which is not bad, right? So it does render quite quickly. Otherwise, you gotta wait a bit, okay? But it gives you after it just renders the back there, and once you like it, you just go to render and then you just save it as a render. Just wait for a while and then it will renders for you. Okay, everything is easy. Drag and drop, yeah, drop uh, objects and all that kind of stuff, and then give them a color. Let's say we make another one. If I have time, let's make another one. Let's say we save that. Okay. So I'm gonna make some gold rings. So just click on the ring here, right? F to focus, right? F to focus on the ring, and then you can just change the size and all that stuff, right? And I switch on the render, and then you can go down and take, pick up your material. So we have this gold material here, which is given to us, clean gold, right? That's gold material, right? Very nice. And then you can duplicate. So we can just hold down the Alt key and bring it up. Does it not do that? So you can hold down the Alt key. Alt. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Alt and let's drag up. So make some gold rings. Just for no reason. Just for fun. Gold donuts. Yeah. This could be a part of another project that you are doing. Right. Just have fun with this. Okay. And let's give it a nice black background. So I'm going to go to my background. See how easy that is environment uh, go background let's give it a nice dark color yeah and now you can see you have this nice rendering okay and it gives you that reflection between the two objects as well press one two, three four yeah we can also use one two three you know, i rather use my 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 mouse because i'm used so used to other 3d softwares you can use right click left click okay how about mach the machine capacity? Can you MacBook? Yeah, you can use. As long as your MacBook has a, a GPU in it, it should be okay. If you don't have a GPU, it, it still runs, but it takes a while for you to preview the render, yeah? It all, you know, you need to have a, a, a it's kind of a, uh, one of the machines that has a bit of GPU and also some good CPU power as well. Yep, there Roland is actually helping me out today. Thank you, Roland. Yeah, he's helping me out, giving you the answers as well. Appreciate that. Right, so uh, you can also nowadays have text. The latest version of um, uh, what do you call that Adobe Dimension has a bit of text, so you can actually bring in text as well. So if I click on the text, they, they, they didn't used to have this, but now they have it, right? So I can rotate that around. Oops, make sure I'm selecting the right. All right, I can rotate that around. So the cool thing about the text is that it uh, it's it's um, has a lot of op, uh, things in it. Yeah. So if I maybe change it. So now if I select it, I can see I have this lorem ipsum here. So let's say I want to make it my company name or something like that. Yeah. And let's focus in. I want to show you something here. So I want to change to a different font. So instead of Arial, let's use Impact. Okay. Impact gives it a thicker kind of uh, look, right? And now what I can do with this, let's give it a material first. 
maybe we give it a bit of nice gold color again drag and drop okay nice gold I can keep on rendering it so it renders not only that I can even play with the um, stuff like it's uh, bevel yeah I have bevel here so under technical parameters and I have miscellaneous where's my bevel I can enable my bevel actually so select on my text and I can enable bevel uh, where is it there you go under here right it's enable bevel and now I have a classic bevel this is a classic bevel yeah that's how it looks like I can even bring the width down a bit and I can even change the angle of the bevel I can repeat the bevel see what I mean so what I'm doing here right nice bevels repeating all right and then I can have a uh, maybe a convex which is cur curves into it it gives you a nice edge like that yeah those bevels and or we can try something like a rounded outline yeah and a square outline so you can play with all this stuff yeah maybe we'll leave it to round for now nice bevel edges there and then you can change the width of it a bit yeah we get something like that you can even repeat that many many times all right then you got something like that yeah so you can play with all this stuff uh, this is also new uh, I think they put this on about uh, two versions ago I think yeah and you can play with this yeah have fun with that and uh, as you as I showed uh, just now these are the what people are doing now all this is done but not all of them are done with pure what they call that uh, dimension because this is the one you can see the word DN there right but some of them are not some of them are they have they mix with another software most of these are all DN stuff like this right dimension most of them are dimension this one has a bit of a I don't know what CA is capture Adobe capture okay right nice beautiful stuff you guys can do it in a matter of minutes yeah have fun with it at the same time okay come here and look at the inspiration like this one I like this one this is very nice yeah they use text to do beveling and all that just like what I showed you just now some simple geometric stuff after render the file format in the is the end format only uh, no no you can save it as a PSD file or a PNG file once you once you render okay so if you go back to uh, here you can when you render you have an option of saving as a PNG file or a Photoshop file I suggest you do a Photoshop file because uh, you have more um, room to play with or room to adjust it when you are in Photoshop yeah just do let do let with PNG you can kind of come and adjust the contrast and all that stuff yeah, street text is a bit future the basic shapes is also yeah thank you Roland all right so stuff like this you can do it right it's very nice to look at and then it gives you an extra umpla so this one actually is a friend of mine her name is um, Anna she did this project just imagine doing this project in Adobe Dimension yeah so she did everything one by one so it took a while to do it but she had fun in doing it so I had a, a chance of talking to her online and see I asked her a question how she does she does it all this stuff. all done panel by panel and all that kind of stuff yeah some of it are 3d models she brought into the scene and all that so if you want to follow something somebody who's awesome in 3d demand uh, in Adobe Dimension just follow Anna that's Anna Netta she's from Germany right if I click on her you can see whatever she's creating and she is the one that inspires me to do all this stuff yeah she does some amazing stuff there you go something like this right they're just simple objects but they look very nice because they have this color right the color scheme orange and blue right simple stuff all this inf inspires me actually yeah so this is Anna's work follow her on Twitter or on uh, on uh, what do you call that on Instagram so you can you're inspired and she also has some tutorials on YouTube as well you maybe want to look at some of the tutorials and another right okay so that's about it for today guys I hope you guys are inspired a bit uh, you know ready to start using Adobe Dimension to create something awesome like this um, I hope you guys will stay with for the next uh, session which is next week where uh, blend uh, sorry uh, Astro is going to come in and talk about creating actual 3d models using a software like blender i think everybody should learn how to do 3d nowadays it's actually a very interesting topic yeah and everybody is doing 3d stuff nowadays okay so i hope to see you guys again soon let me see whether i have any more questions here yeah at, yeah she's admin for the adobe dimension group you're right roland yeah uh, and then 
Okay, so that's about it, guys. I hope you had fun. Uh, don't forget our promotion that we are. It's on now, right? Until when did I say it was? Until the night, 12th of May, right? You, this offer, and then don't forget our next session, which is next Thursday on the May 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 the fifth. We'll be talking about how to start using Blender, right? It's a, so make sure you have Blender all downloaded. For those who register, who will register for the a workshop you will get some files that you need to download and uh, you know uh, play along with uh, astro okay so look out for that in our facebook uh, the link and download those files in fact today's files also we will have it uh, in our youtube channel uh, which we're gonna you know save this recording and uh, upload it right for you guys to have a look at it and then we'll put the files inside there as well okay thanks roland for help being very very helpful and uh, the rest of the guys azura Andrew, all right, thank you very much for joining us today. And keep on joining us for the, the weeks to come. Uh, Sakina, Najib, uh, then we have Hakim, Nordin, Zaid is also here. Uh, okay, thank you very much for supporting us. And uh, I will see you soon. So you guys take care. It's raining outside <laughs> at the moment. So uh, I, I hope you guys see you guys soon. Yeah, Take care of yourself. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.